Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to build stone columns like these beauties that I used uh, to build this Parthenon. And uh, if you want to see me build this, um, there's a link in the video description. Okay, so how do you make them? Well, you st it's really easy. You start off with uh, a piece of curved wall. And then you're going to take the, uh, the flat stone roof molding. And if you hold the F key, uh, then you can center the first piece really easily. And then what you're going to do is line up additional pieces moving around the curve of the st of the uh, of the original wall. Now, it's it's important that you take your you take your time and you get the positioning like exactly right. You have to line up exactly with the top of the wall, otherwise you're going to get um, nasty gaps appearing when you link sections together on like one on top of another so take your time now you're going to be laying eight uh, of these uh, roof moldings on each on each side so there's the 16 segments make up one quarter uh, of a column and uh, you'll have um, you'll have room to overlap them like um, you can, well you can see from from here now, on, on one end, you want to be flat up against the, uh, the end of the wall. But on the other end, as you will see, we're actually going to leave an overlap. Now, it's important to have that overlap because uh, in the same way that we're overlapping each of these pieces, you need to overlap when you, when you put two segments next to each other. You'll see when we start stacking these exactly how it works. But I can't stress enough, uh, like if you want them to look good, it's really worth spending the time to make sure that you get the alignment absolutely perfect at the top. And the, the way to do it is um, if, you, if you use your, uh, your control key, then it'll give you these arrows and you can just move them up and down or side to side and get exactly the alignment you need. Now here's where we're gonna leave an, an overlap. So we're just gonna overhang uh, the wall by the same amount that we've been overlapping each piece. So now I'm gonna select all of those 16 pieces and duplicate it and just start to stack them together. And you can see that because we've got that overlap, they all blend nicely into each other. Now, when we start stacking them on top, this is when you'll see whether you've got your alignment right. And it's, like I said, the, the more time you spend on it and get it absolutely bang on, the better they'll look. So that you shouldn't see any joins. And I think, um, I think you can see as I stack these together that it becomes hard to see exactly like where the sections are because um, because it does join together very very neatly and like the, the 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 bigger they get the better they look now these obviously are the same size as um as the 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 regular stone wall towers um cobblestone towers but you can make these in different sizes now if i take one of these uh, one of these quarter pieces and do exactly the same thing. So take a roof molding, press F to locate the first one. Now that'll get it in exactly the, the, exactly the right position. And then you just line up the others, overlap them. You wanna be, you wanna be buffed up on one end. So you wanna be right at the edge on one end. And on the other end, you want a slight overlap. Now here, I've kind of thrown this together. I, I didn't bother to, um, to do the overlap because I just wanted to show it to, show it to you. Um, but then I decided, yeah, yeah, should I? Yeah, no. So I just thought, yeah, I'll, I'll throw them together. And you can see, you, you can see instantly, because I've left, I haven't got that overlap, you can see that line down the middle. 
So, like I said, it's really important to uh, to pay as much attention as possible when you're when you're lining them up to get the best end result. And that's just for starters. Once you've got one, you can do all kinds of things with these things. Um, for example, uh, you can you can create all kinds of like circular decorations. So, for example, you could just like put freezes all around like something like this um, or you could get even more fancy and do something like uh, let's see what could we use how about this these stone awnings work really really well if you uh, if you just bury them in a little bit and flip it around to create like a bit of a design like that and then you can just repeat that design again and again um, around the uh, around the, the circle boom so you can get these um, these circular pads let me do one more because I want to show you what happens when um, when you actually like get get rid of the column because you're left with these really cool things so let's uh, let's just pop that one in as it is flip this around we'll just do this one more you'll get the idea so let's pop you in let's see there and then if we take these let me copy all of these and duplicate that and you you see you've got you've now got a um, a circular pattern that you could you, you could do all kinds of things you could create uh, a a different type of column using these so you could take these and like plop that in there and then well uh, if I'd have kept it selected, I could have then duplicated that and created a, a circle of these and then stacked them on top of each other. And You can do all kinds of crazy things with these. Basically, anything circular uh, you can create using these. So, like, I don't know. Um, oh, another good one. The, um, the Where's the balcony? Here's the balcony. Now, we take the balcony and um, flip it sink that in like this you can get really really nice designs with this again I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be like too fussy with it but just sink them in now now here's a tip if, um, if you want to create these and you want them to be accurate, then just the same as we did with the roof mouldings. If you press the F key to like uh, find a spot where they'll they'll where they'll lock in place. The, the, the problem with, with these, they won't do it. If you use the original stone walls, they will. So if we if we take one of these stone walls, and uh, let's just uh, just flip it around and pop it there, right? And then we take these. Uh, the, one of these stone balconies so let's take this one and spin it around now that's if you press the F key and it'll lock into a central place then press the shift key and you can sync it into place right so there's your first one for the next one press F again right so it goes to the site to that same central spot so press F and then press the control key and then you can slide it to one side press the keep holding the, the the control key press the shift key release the control key that'll keep it locked in place and then you can slide it in to where you want it and then switch back to the control key once you've got it lined up pop it in place and then you can just, if you keep the control key pressed, you can just keep plopping these. And it will automatically follow the angle 
of the uh, of the circle. And I did that one badly, but never mind. Um, I did go back, do the same thing. So, oh, come on, you're gonna you're gonna lock into place. Oh, there we go. So same again, and well, hopefully, hopefully, let's sink you in, move you across, sink you in a little bit more, and then place that one, slide it across, keep holding the control key, boom. If it doesn't adapt, just get rid of it. Go back to the uh, go back to the balcony. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it'll stay on the same plane. If it does do that, don't worry. You can just like if it, if it comes to it, you can just place them manually. But it's nice if you can use the F key to get you into that um, that place. That's not going to do it. The ends up somewhat more difficult. But let's get you roughly into place. Let's pop you and we'll do one more just to finish off the, the quarter circle. So now we've got a complete quarter circle of these balcony pieces. So we can select those, copy them, and now we can make pillars out of these, which is just crazy obviously I didn't do a particularly good job of lining that last one up but you get the idea let's, uh, let's do another one flip that pop that into place and finish it off one two three boom so there we go we've got a column a circular column made up of these things and, of course, you can stack them. So, flip this around. And plop that up there. But obviously, they're, they're not going to stack together if, the, if there's, there's gaps on here. So, um, you might want to fill in with something. But then, you could, for example, you could take these, right? And, like, there's enough of a gap at the bottom and the top. If you if you move these down a little bit, you could get, like, a pattern of those in between these. I, you can do insane things with these. I mean, literally, like, you are limited by your imagination only. If you can think of something circular, then find an object and do it. I like this sandstone support. You could do like circles with that. You can use the, um, this thing you can do circles with and you can come up with some really freaky things with this. Um, especially if you turn it on its side. You can get all kinds of weird stuff with that. Um, the, the, the balcony, this thing, the, 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 the render grand fascia, you can do um, some quite cool things with that as well. Uh, again, if I go over, if we flip this around, you, I like, you can do, well, you can see, you can do crazy things. You could have these all stacked around, or if you get it on its edge, right, and then flip it around, then you can use these, well, you can use these, um, these really nice kind of corner brackets, um, and do cool things with those. I mean, seriously, like, like take any of these pieces and just play around with them. You can do wacky things, like um, some some of these awnings. If you want, like, you want a, a circular chief beef thing, flip this around, stack a bunch of these around, right? You could have a, the, the the chief beef tube. Um, you can also, as well as the two sizes, the um, uh, the, the big one and the smaller one that I showed you. You can also use these. So if you flip this around, um, and, and obviously you can get these in any orientation because, like I just showed you, you if you put this on here, right, you can flip it all over the place. So you can have columns on their sides and all kinds. Of, I seriously. It's like, it, if you can think of it, you can do it. Um, flip that on its side, do exactly the same. 
place these around on the angles, right? And you can get a really tiny um, stone column. So there's three different sizes of stone column, along with a whole bunch of design ideas. I think that is enough to let you go off and run riot and come up with all kinds of crazy things that even I haven't thought of. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this was useful. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And uh, I'll catch you for another one. Peace out.